so this is these are the materials that mostly you'll probably need for the charcoal drawing. This one here is the vine charcoal. It's light and fluffy, um, and its mark making is much lighter than the compressed, and it's much easier to make mistakes with and erase. Okay, so that's the vine charcoal. The next one, and the, the, start with the vine charcoal for your drawing. Do your preliminary steps. Number one, composition. Number two, proportion. Number three, contour line with the vine charcoal. The next one, I'm gonna include in your art boxes a few different types of compressed charcoal. I know which one I like the best, but different people um, like different ones and use, and use them for different purposes. I have a round one and a couple different square ones and they all kind of make a little bit different marks. Um, the round one is a little bit grittier, a little bit harder, um, and the two square ones are much softer and much messier. I like the square ones. And then finally, um, a charcoal pencil for doing some line work at the end of your drawing. You'll want a charcoal pencil. These are great um, because you can hold them like you hold a pencil. Gives you a lot of control, um, makes a little bit smaller or um, a little bit smaller lines, right? Um, and then just so you guys know, the way that you sharpen them, air quotes, um, is you just pull that little bit of string down and pull off the paper. So you're not doing anything wrong if that happens. That's the way you're supposed to keep the tip fresh, okay? So just pull the string and the paper just kind of comes off the charcoal pencil. You might have to pick it out a little bit. And then finally, I think for this project, um, put those vinyl erasers away. I don't think they do a great job with all the material that charcoal lays down. But you'll probably want to use your kneadable eraser on this. And what I really like about the kneadable is when it gets dirty like this, you can use it as more of a blending stick. So kind of just blends it out, makes the look a little bit softer. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna be including in your art boxes. Um, and I want you guys to make sure you're using that checkout form too, because I need to hold everybody accountable for bringing me back these art supplies. Okay, let me know if questions come up and have fun.